What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Discord.js bot series. In today's video, this is the fifth episode of this video, we're gonna learn how we can make a ban and kick command for a bot. As you remember, uh, we made a command handler and we're gonna use that command handler for today's video, but whatever, if you're not using a command handler, it's fine, you just need to put the code on there, so I think you will understand today's video, because everyone who's making a command handler, they probably know how to uh, do this stuff, so yeah, that's pretty simple. Alright, before we start the video, make sure to check the link in the description for the GitHub if you're new to the channel. We all, in all of our videos, we put a link in the description for the each episode's code. So just check it out in there. So yeah, you won't have any problems. Alright, so let's get into the video. Uh, let's just uh, start with the ban command. I mean, the kick command. Well, we're gonna say uh, we, we're gonna make a. Let me just remove this. Going. Uh, we're gonna say that in our ban. Uh, I mean the kick command kick.js we're gonna name this kick.js and then as you can see we have the code in here this the template that we all have it and let's just uh, see how we can make that first of all we can make permission for this let me just make the permission like mm, uh, we can do the message that member has a permission the permission is gonna be kick members if you don't know what is this, it's pretty simple. You just need to go to your uh, Discord server and just click on the server settings. And the rules, as you can see, you have the admin. There is a permission called kick uh, members. Yeah, there we go, kick members. Make sure to write exactly the capitalize and like this because permissions are always should be capitalized. As you can see, is if we don't have the permission for this command, it's gonna message the channel that'll send you don't have the permission to use this command. You can make it more customized by you know putting the message. Just it's pretty simple. Also, we're gonna send an else command. So if the person had this uh, permission, it's gonna let the member is the catch of the second argument. Also, before we start the video, actually in the kick command, I actually add something into my index.js. You need to update your arg message the content of subscribe subtracting make sure you add this one because it's pretty 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 important in here we just updated this line of the code just make sure to update it uh you can check the link in the description for the github for updating this line of code we need to update this line of the code so our ban and kick command will work just update it and you will be fine and as you can see you have the kick command right here we need to see the if member um if the member uh, was uh, put in under second argument, it's gonna await the member dot kick, and it's gonna kick the member, and it's gonna console the lock kicked. Well, let's add a let's, let's add a, a message called um, message dot channel dot stand, and we're gonna say that um, member, or you can call it um, s. Hold on a second, I mean like hold on something like this. We're gonna say the member. Um, Yes, member, I guess. So let's just put the member picked. So it will log us in the channel as well, except the console. As you can see, we have all this. Uh, and it's gonna do a try command each of the command that we did. If you have some errors, it's gonna show us the console that like the error problems. All right, let's see how it's gonna work. Uh, what is this? No, please, goodbye. <laughs> let's go to the terminal. Let's click on a new terminal. Let's just do um, node dot. And let's check our bot. Make sure you bot and you have the permission for kicking the members. And make sure the person you want to kick uh, should have the uh, don't have any permissions like administrator because if you can't pick it, the administrator from the server. All right, let's do this. Let's do kick. Um, also, something really important: you can't mention the members in the new Discord.js uh, update. You cannot mention the member to kick them. But actually, there is actually a way. But you need to act a fun function for each of the command which is gonna be so hard for now let's just use the id so let's just say i want to kick this bot here you need to copy this id here and then you need to paste id and then you enter as you can see heroku free kicked pretty simple as you can see we've got the log as well in here now we have our bot kicked from the server this is the kicking map pretty simple straightforward <laughs> without any problems let's just get to the band let me make another file called band.js and make sure to put the model of export config and the model export run. Otherwise, these are like just waste because we don't use the Discord in the area. So yeah, just if you want to put these two line of codes, you can put it. Whatever. As you can see, we have. But if you're using a message input, by the way, make sure to put the const Discord and you're using your token for some stuff like that. Just you know, we did all explain about this on the command. I mean, command last video. So just go watch it. 
We have the F message uh, member that has a permission for the band members. So once again, if you go to the Discord server, if you go to the rules, you have the ban permission. Let me just check the, uh, let's just check. There we go, ban members. There we go. We have the permission for the ban members. Yep, straightforward. Um, uh, let me just check. Uh, yeah, I have the admin role. Uh, it's gonna say that you don't have the permission like the kick command and it's gonna else if the permission if the player or the user have the permission to kick the members I mean ban the members it's gonna let the ban member message that go let me just remove uh, let ban member if the message is gonna ban the arcs the second argument uh, it's gonna ban member if the if it ban member dot got I mean the member banned from the server it's gonna cancel the log ban member dot tag was banned it's gonna also the lock the member i'm using some function to, to to show you guys how is the console the lock work as well it's just making sure because as i remember in the kick command i just make the console the lock kicked and that's it but in the ban i use the band member dot tag was banned this is going to show the who banned from the server in the console the lock as well as in here we're going to message the channel that send band member have banned from the server that's it register forward and the catch error the console the lock register forward with other problems Let's just check our command again. Let's just do ban the user ID. Let me just ban this bot. There we go. Let's just do this. One. There we go. I've been banned from the server. Uh, I wonder why it locked two times. Um, I think it's fine. I don't think there's a lot of problems in here, but yeah, it's fine. Well, you can fix it pretty simple because I saw two messages I had, well, it, it, the member got banned rather than problems, don't worry about that. But the thing, as you can see, it should also show the tag as well. So it, it will show the tag of the user as well, who is the banned from the server in the logs. But the thing is, um, it showed us two messages in here. So we're just going to fix it re real quick. We're just going to copy this uh, to try. If the band member is gonna, oh yeah, so that's how it's gonna work. Uh, I made a mistake in here. We need to put this one on the top of this area, so then it's gonna work out without any problems. Let me just add this in here. This we're just gonna add this command. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Let's just this, 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 this. Make it cleaner, you know. Uh, pretty simple mode, and it should work fine. Let me just add this as well, cause this, this. Done. Stay forward and let's just start the bot. Uh, I don't think I have a reuser. <laughs> I need to add some members to my server because they banned them or something. Alright, let me just do ban. Let's just ban this person. Here we go. The fun that uh, ban from the server pretty straightforward without any problems. Worked. Hopefully, you like this video. You finally managed to fix this problem and I'll show uh, most of you guys have from problems that you say my bot respond twice. Guys, listen, if you want your bot don't respond twice, like for example, some of them, they use a uh, hi, and then it's going to respond twice as you can select mine. It's just a simple bug from Discord. You just need to restart your VS code and just open it again. As you can see, it's just a simple bug. For some reason, Visual Studio could have problem with it. You need to click on new terminal again. And also each time you want to do no dot for your starting your bot in your terminal, you just need to do CTRL, I mean, control. C and it's gonna restart your bot completely and then you need to do node dot again as you can see there we go let's test it out right now i mean no not not issue <laughs> do the say hi there we go fix our own problems now our band command should probably fix as well this is just a simple bug that happens to everyone so don't worry about it all right guys thank you guys for watching hope you like this video if you like make sure to like it and subscribe and follow on socials drop a comment down below about today's video and about the ideas also i should say a special thanks for the gamer pro plays for giving me these ideas and the members in my discord server also if you have any problems with this game and or some stuff like this just comment down below or you can just also join the discord server as well because we can help you easier in there you know you didn't youtube everything is limited but please join to our discord server for support and thank you guys so much Hope you like this video. See you guys in the next video. Hit the subscribe button as well. Peace out.